Hi everyone, I'm Ron Kanner and you're watching Out of Zion on God TV. When Israel became a nation again in 1948, there were only 25 documented Messianic Jews, Jews that believe in Jesus in Israel. Actually, there were 29, but according to a close friend of mine, the government offered all of them visas to go to other nations. They wanted them out. Four took advantage of the offer and 25 said, no, we're staying. You see, the promise in Ezekiel 36 wasn't just that the Jewish people would return to their land, but that they would experience salvation. If you're a regular viewer of this program, then you know that one of my favorite verses is Ezekiel 24. For I will take you out of the nations and I will gather you from all the countries and bring you back into your own land. But if you keep reading, it gets even better. I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. This is very similar to what Jeremiah says in chapter 31. I will make a new covenant with the people of Israel and with the people of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. Physical restoration was not the only goal of the Father, but also a spiritual revival. Now we see this play out in the next chapter in Ezekiel, where he has his famous vision of the dry bones. You'll remember that there were two parts to this vision. First, he prophesies to the Valley of Dry Bones and something crazy happens. The bones begin to come together. Tendons, flesh, and skin, they come together to form bodies. Now for me, that would be enough. I'd be like high-fiving people and saying, did you see that, right? I prophesied that, hello? But there was one big problem. Ezekiel says, I looked and tendons and flesh appeared on them and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Yeah, it was a nice trick, but they were still dead. I believe this represents Israel returning to the land, the physical restoration. But God tells old Zeke to prophesy a second time, and he does. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy son of man and say to it, this is what the sovereign Lord says, come breath from the four winds and breathe into these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me and breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet, a vast army. Hallelujah, friends. This represents revival in Israel. And it's right in line with Zechariah 12:10, where it says regarding the Jews and the end times, and I will pour out on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem, a spirit of grace and supplication. They will look on me, the one whom they have pierced, and they will mourn for him as one mourns for an only child and grieve bitterly for him as one grieves for a firstborn son. And that seed of 25 believers 70 years ago has blossomed to something that numbers 15 to 18,000 Jewish believers all over Israel. We have gone from no Messianic congregations in 1948 to well over 150. But we are seeing more Israelis come to faith. In fact, our entire team, except for one, is an Israeli believer, which includes native-born Israelis and immigrant Jewish believers like me. Our longing is to see the full restoration that Ezekiel spoke of. Paul says in Romans 11, 25 and 26, that after the fullness of the Gentiles, which I believe means the gospel touching every nation, all Israel will be saved. Kol Yisrael Yivasha. That's the dream, friends. Be sure to go to God.tv to see every episode and find me at roncantor.com. Please follow Ron on Twitter and Facebook at Ron S. Cantor to find out more about Ron and his ministry. For more information on God TV and the Out of Zion programs, or to view these programs again, go to God.tv forward slash Zion.